This video tutorial will walk you through creating a new course in MindTap by copying from an existing course, or by using another instructor's course key. To get started, ensure that your adopted title is on your instructor dashboard page. This video focuses on the creation of a single course, so we will click the Create Course option. If you have previously taught this course, select the option to copy an existing course, and then, from the Select Course dropdown, select the course you want to copy. You will also have the option to copy from another instructor's course. In this case, they would have provided you with their course key, which you will enter here when prompted. Regardless of which option you selected, click Continue. You will now enter your course information. All required fields are indicated with a red asterisk. First, enter your course name. We recommend that you include the course name and number and some reference to the course term. Next, you will use the calendar tools to enter the course start and end dates. The class start date should reflect the first day you want students to access your course and sets the temporary access period. If you are copying a course that has activity dates, you can select the option to copy all activity dates from the source course. If you are copying from a course that has already ended, you will need to enter the new activity dates once the course is created. You can also optionally include class meeting times. Use the Add Meeting Times menu to enter the start and end times, as well as the days the class meets. When you have entered the information, click Save. If you need to add a co-instructor to the course, click Add Additional Instructor or TA, and enter the email address associated to their Cengage account. Then click Add. After you've completed all of the required fields, click Create Course. You will receive a confirmation that your course has been created and have a few options for next steps. The first is to click on the name of your course to access it and begin customizing it for use with your students. The second provides you with a course link for your course. You can add this to your syllabus, send to your students via email, or add the link into your learning management system. You can also print student registration instructions for easy distribution if you are meeting face-to-face -face with your students. And finally, you can click Manage Course to edit your course settings, or return to your instructor dashboard. Whether you're creating a new course from scratch or copying a course from the previous term, Guided Course Setup will save you time and help you start off right. You can skip this process by clicking Skip Guided Setup, but we highly recommend completing this. Guided Setup is a great tool for getting the initial MindTap setup steps out of the way. Click the Guided Setup button to begin. We estimate that this setup will take about a few minutes. Click Next. On step one, you'll be asked if your course is an online course, a face-to-face -face course, or a hybrid of the two. The next option will ask if you'd like your course to be displayed by topic or by date. This will set the default view of your course to be either the outline structure of the MindTap learning path or a rolling week view that shows your students what assignments are due that week. If you select an option here and later decide you'd like the other, this setting can be changed later as well. Once you have selected your answers, click Next. The next question will ask if you plan to use MindTap with a School Learning Management System, or LMS, such as Blackboard, Canvas, Brightspace by D2L, Moodle, or other LTI-compliant learning management system. If you select Yes, it will then ask which LMS you plan to use. Click Next. If you copied a course that had any available or due dates set, we will receive this third page. Selecting Yes here will compare the available and due dates of the previous course to that course's start and end date then adjust those dates to align with the new course start and end dates. Selecting No here will remove all available and due dates from assignments, so you can set those dates yourself. Click Next. The final page of Guided Setup will ask how you'd like scored activities to impact the gradebook. Using system defaults, we'll provide you with a mixture of practice and graded activities in line with how assignments were originally created. Counts Towards Grade will set all scored activities to be tracked in the course gradebook. Practice will set all scored activities to not be tracked in the gradebook. The point value field is an optional field that you can use to set the point value of all scored activities in your course. 
If left blank, all activities will have a default point value. If you'd like your activities to all have the same point value, set that value here. When you are finished, click Next. The last page is a confirmation that you've reached the end of the guided setup. If you'd like to go back and change something, you can use the back button. If you're finished, click Finish. MindTap will build your course around the settings you have selected during the guided setup. If you selected yes at the LMS integration question, you'll be provided with a PDF document that walks you through integrating your course with your learning management system. These instructions will cover linking your MindTap course with your LMS by creating a course level link and how to enable deep links and grade synchronization between MindTap and your learning management system. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers. Thank you.